Why did we think they should reduce trade barriers? The reason is that Jamaica is a very small country. It's not a country which could sort of thrive by producing only for itself. We believe very firmly that countries are going to grow better if they're integrated into the world economy, and that means reducing tariffs. And it needed to allow its importers, its people, access to goods from the rest of the world, rather than have them rely on this little, uh, little uh, economy. In conjunction with the loan agreement, and at the same time, the World Trade Organization signed off all the member countries into this new world order of trade. This new world order means that there will be no government regulation in the trading of any commodities. They're telling you that, uh, well, look, if we lend you $50 million, in return you have to lower all your trade barriers and you have to compete with us on a level playing field. Well, that is all double talk. It was at this time that the competition from reconstituted milk started to get severe. We ended up with having an influx of powder which destroyed the dairy industry. Vendors also complained about the large number of foreign fruits and vegetables on the market, saying all of the foreign foods were hurting their business. The foreign Irish, the foreign carrot, the foreign ginger, everything full of the market. But the supermarkets seem to be doing well with overseas produce, as they are being sold for less than the local produce. So you're saying, you're saying that the foreign lettuce and carrots are less expensive than the local lettuce and carrots? Yes, that's what I'm saying. When you open up the, the marketplace, those who are in a better position to take, take advantage of the market do so. We import the spray, we import the fertilizer, we import the seed. So what we have to put in? Only sunlight and our impact. And if we use that right, we produce a better quality thing, but at a high cost. The problem is, that we are competing with a, an unfair situation. In the States, nobody hires money for over 10%. The lowest cost here now is 19%, and it can be as high as 40 percent. They needed to expand their exports and uh, diminish their imports. And the best way of doing that is to make foreign currency more expensive. And since our society is so heavily dependent on imported food, imported fuel, imported books to go to school, imported medicine, when we devalue, the cost of those things we import go up to the citizens. And as a result, the economy today is much more under the control of foreigners not necessarily through direct ownership, but through the mechanism of debt. In the 1970s, we owed $800 million. By the end of the 1980s, we owed $4 billion. Nowadays, we owe $7 billion. So the debt is rising, and all the time the debt is rising, our capacity to export to produce is getting less. 